My name is Sharon Ferraro. I am the retired Historic Preservation Coordinator for the City of Kalamazoo. Welcome to the City of Kalamazoo Streets for All Updates. This five-part series will inform those who live, work, or play in our great city about the journey to restore downtown streets back to two-way, beginning with Kalamazoo Avenue. We'll cover how the plan started, what we heard from city residents, how we've adapted, and most excitingly, what to expect in the days to come. Today's video will introduce the original concept developed in 2019 for the two-way conversion of Kalamazoo Avenue. In the next installments, we'll share how public engagement efforts informed and impacted project planning and design and the new plans that are taking shape. In the 1960s, the Michigan Department of Transportation converted downtown streets, including Kalamazoo Avenue and Michigan Avenue, to one way, so residents could enter and exit quickly, getting back to their life outside of the city. The switch effectively prioritized automobiles over pedestrians and non-motorized vehicles and de-emphasized livability in downtown Kalamazoo. Today's downtown isn't a pit stop, but a vibrant urban center where residents live, work, and connect. The city became interested in restoring the grid back to the two-way operations decades ago, but jurisdiction over the roads was held by the state. In 2019, the Michigan Department of Transportation transferred ownership of downtown roadways back to the city in what's known as a turn back, putting the decision to make this restoration in the city's hands. A high-level traffic study and public engagement determined that converting downtown streets to two-way operation was both feasible and favorable. The city's engineering consultant developed an original concept, placing emphasis on restoring the grid back to its original state before the 1965 one-way project. The study showed that the concept worked well for two-way vehicle traffic, but further design and operational detail were needed to address pedestrian mobility and safety. As a result, the city decided to move forward and start the design process. We all know what happened next. COVID-19 hit. The city made the difficult decision to press pause on public engagement and on the project. In our second installment, we'll dive into what happened next as the project was revived post-pandemic and re-engagement with the public became our biggest priority as we heard the comments, questions, and reservations about the original concept. Thank you for joining us. We know that change can be both exciting and difficult as we continue working to transform our city's downtown network. As we continue growing and building a connected city, it's important to understand the history of our city's downtown core. By investing in Streets for All, we will again make history. Stay tuned for parts two through five, leading up to the public open houses on May 24th and May 30th. Want to know more? Check out the Streets for All Creating a Connected City link below.